Hello there, my name is Vladimir and welcome to my channel where we're going to look on a new release from Stability AI called Stability Cascade. Stability Cascade um, using the Warnchester, the architecture and if you're interested more I will provide link down below as well you can go from main page and you can see what it does. It's actually a large scale architecture text to image which has allowed perform faster more accurate to the prompt but let's look a little bit closer and by the way this is not just overview in the second part we're also going to install on local machine and see how it's performed first i will provide all links down below for you so you can go and check for yourself and let's let's kind of look over all what this can do and we have a couple important points and we'll start with first important point for us it is non-commercial use only so keep this in mind whatever you're creating here you cannot resell you cannot use it a part of the commercial work so this is a non-commercial use only okay next you'll notice um, this all code available on a stability github and we're going later to here it's where we're going to install from next we also have it all of this uh, overview how it's work in simplicity, think about a bigger model that can perform faster, a little bit more connection can establish, and it will have it some withdraw. However, a new optimized model can perform much faster. Okay, last, if we're going down to comparison, you can see right here speed comparison compared to SDXL on 50 steps versus playground 50 and SDXL Turbo one step. Of course, SDXL Turbo it will perform the faster because it is just used only one step but if you know with sdxl turbo you will have it problems when you need it uh, coherence from animation or other things so it does not work very well there but stable cascade require only 20 plus 10 additional steps so it is a little bit faster perform than sdxl but with even the result on this case and right here down below you can see they have it optional image variations as well we have it image to image variations on this case the more technical information is available for you to check um, in the future if you more kind of nerdy doc nerdy but general what it does it's creating bigger library if i'm right it's 1.5 uh, 1.4 billion parameters but it's performed much better the more parameters the more accurate it can work with the prompt you will um, put it in as well you can notice it does work with the training with fun tune control net laura so it's already work with all this and also it's provided in pa eh, in painting and out painting as well okay right here we have it from control net we have it our canning age um, edges example and you can see just to create and put it crochet very accurate i mean it is on the pictures it's look very accurate look very high detail but you know what let's test this let's go install it step by step and test see how it actually will work for us for this we're going to the github stability ai stable cascade and we have a repository on top but if we scroll down right here the same information that we saw on previous page with model overview and of course we're going to the and of course we go down to get started you can see right here installations on a notebook notebook installation is very good for those who does not have it very powerful computers but for me personally i have it rtx 3090 should be okay for me to running and because of that i want to that not necessarily work for the local installation for this we have it options we can go from github and try and sell manually or we can use it package and if you remember from previous videos, I like to use it stability metrics because it's allowed me to put it all different packages in one place. And after I create this video, another person kind of point and says, hey, you know what? It's have it another cool options that you can use then install it and it's called Pinocchio. Again, I will provide link down below for you so you can go and install. For this and you notice also Pinocchio do support stable cascade which is not yet available for stability metrics i'm a, i'm trust i believe it that probably will pop up there very soon but for now it's what we're going to use also notice it's all additional versions in some cases a little bit more 
and stability metrics. So install Pinocchio, all what you need to do, go and click download. As you're clicking on download, you have an option to select what you're going to install, Windows, Mac, Intel, or uh, Intel Mac or Linux. For me, I'm working on Windows, so it's what I'm going to click on. And you notice it's also prompt you. It says download it, unzip it, and it should come up with says protected PC. This is come with unverified uh, software. And this is software already was scanned several times for the non um, destructive code. So it's, it's a safe, but just let you know. So if pop up like this, it's nothing wrong with this. Just click run away. And after you start, you can see right here, it start installations on your computer. So let's wait a little bit. I probably will take some time to download it all models, but that time when it's required, I will pause this video. I don't want you to sit and wait till all of this, you know, finish downloading. And uh, we will we'll kind of stop, pause and resume as it's finished downloading. Okay, after installation done, we'll just go ahead and launch application. Here we will grid with a window, and then we will prompt with the settings. Right here you can see you have it, your path where you want to specify um, your home directory. I will just uh, will change probably because my C drive is SSD, smaller size, and I want to put it on different. So I will go to put probably just a D Pinocchio for now. Okay, let's go install there. And I will theme set dark. Let's go ahead, click save, and we'll come with this screen. Notice right now we have nothing to install it, so we need to go. At first, we want to go to discover. As we click on discover, you'll notice we have it all different available for you to install different script. And of course, on top, stable cascade. If it does not, you don't see here, you can just type it and it's well showing. So let's go ahead and click on this and it start installation notice we have a github path same as before um, look before so i'm go ahead and click download the download will take a little bit time so give it a click install and after this we actually need to go run second install but there you go we have it all of this conda git zip by the way all of this already installed but because it is installing its own installation i would recommend uh, do use the installations here as well if you want it you can change a little bit on your settings if you need it okay let's go ahead click download open our download again and i'll go click on install so this is will take a little bit time and i'm going to pause this video till all is downloads is completed okay so right here we're done with the installation just a heads up for me, I actually need to click button install two times because one time I run, start installation and then start try install Visual Studio even I already have this installed and it's ask for the administration administration access and because I was out of here, it's time out and fail. So I need to run again. That time I was babysitting. So I was sitting and watching, watching, watching. And when it's come to this, still take a time and even it's all installed it, i need to click third time when it's come a verify and says okay everything installed so just let you know if it's happened just to click install sometimes you need to babysit kind of the script and right here you can see we have one install it so let's go click and also as we click we have the second install this time it will download it models it will download it packages all this stuff so we go click on install okay and right here you can see installed installed conda ff mag so let's install it it's kind of interesting i wish it is a look for the global because i already have it ffmpeg installed so now i have a couple installations same like a git and other ones um it's not okay it's not bad we'll see how the other package is going but just let you heads up it will kind of install even you already have it some of this stuff install it now we can see it will take a little bit longer because it start installing requirements from month one so even it says hey install one package just uh, don't worry it will take more and more files to install it so i'm again going on a pause and we'll come back okay so right here we finish installation and it says click start to start it so we go ahead click run and you can see on the side was start run on top 
And here we have it after everything launch. We have a our link and localhost 7860 port. You'll notice it's very simplified interface. We have just a prompt generating. We also have it advanced options, which we're going ahead, extend. And inside we have it our negative prompt, seed if you want any. Currently set randomized with height, number of the image, and all what we used to do kind of knowing some of those elements that already have it. So let's try a couple of prompts. And I'm just going to compare different ones right here. This is one on a mid journey creating. So we'll go inside, copy, paste, same. We leave it negative seed, everything same per 10, 20. So we'll leave it as is in documentation, 20 prior steps and then after. And let's go ahead, click run. Notice it's creating a little bit different denoise pattern from our usual when you have it a noise and it's coming. And it seems like processing quite a bit fast. And here we have it afterwards. Actually, it's not bad. It is a little bit simplified compared to other, but it's going very well with what we um, trying. Okay, let's try different prompts. And we're going to try, let's go a beautiful young woman, portrait, Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, Rembrandt. I know it's all mixed style, so, and I will go render. And as it's going, let's check our resources. And you can see right here, actually perform quite a bit fast. The memory is still utilizing, uh, not all the way, because I have 24 gigabytes, so it's usually a bit less. And 1080, it was not bad. Ooh, look on that quality. Wow. That is a real impressive how it's creating. I love it. Let's do try a couple more things. Maybe increase. Uh, let's go with height a little bit better. I'm going double on the height. I think it's a maximum we can go. We leave it all same. Let's run one more time. So and the same things. Let's go bring our resource monitor. See right here. We still kind of going with the same. I don't see it's utilizing too much memory. GPU is just jump. It's going to use video decode, but I like the actually using only 17. Oh, it's a very impressive look on this 18 gigabytes, a little bit more probably come to the end. Hey, well, look on the quality of this. Okay, we'll go open. And this is our 100%. Ooh, I like the details. So this is 379, almost 400. Increase and right here we have it our there you go 105 very impressive quality I mean in a render quite fast well model is very good sadly you cannot create I cannot use it for non commercials if you're right here it's a research only non commercials probably based on what models they're using to train let's just experiment so we'll go prior steps let's go with a 50, I just go very crazy with this and we'll just pop up this one to 12. Actually, you can go 13 and 12 maximum through the interface. So we'll try to maximize that. And here is our final resolution. It's very unbelievable, very nice. So how about we do this? We'll go Renaissance Burger. Let's do um, holding rows. The reason is why I'm doing holding rows. I want to see how it will render the hands. So mostly fingers, if you know, they kind of have problem with limbs and other ones. Face is kind of okay. So we'll see what's going on. Yes, and how I suspect it, without negative prompt, we have an alien hand. So we have it six fingers in the hand. This is a very common problem will be with this. So for this, you need to polish negative uh, prompt. Um, a lot of fingers or more fingers, maybe too many fingers. Fingers, broken limbs, kind of, you know, as you usual, um, you create all those negative prompts and that probably will fix some of that. But it does use a very interesting approach to this. Right here, like, yeah, fingers now one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, we have it 
correct amount of finger house it can be easy fix with negative but i was hoping it's inside the other prompt so there you have it a new stable cascade <laughs> very fast render i mean seriously i real impress by the size how much it can create how big it can create it and most important resources and how fast is actually create this image so it's really impressive i'm looking forward to see what they can create more models for commercial use but hey if you like this video be sure to subscribe like and share your support is greatly appreciated and i mean on a big way it's greatly appreciated thank you again and have a great great day